in continuous with my previous video upload, I would like to continue few more useful Excel formula ideas. Let's get started. In this formula to decide which payment method has been done for particular transaction, whether it is done by card or cash payment method, user can click the checkbox, if the payment is done by card, and the amount paid. The payment will be automatically updated on the corresponding payment terms column. Let's see how we can create this small application. First, let's insert checkbox control. For this make sure you have enabled the developer tab in the main menu, if not, activate the developer tab by clicking the customized ribbon button. Under insert option, choose the checkbox control from the form control. Then press and hold alt key and click on the respective cell. Delete the checkbox name. Next. Select the cell and copy down it. Right click on the control box, and select format control, from the new pop-up window appear. Define the cell link cell by clicking the small button from the cell link option. Here, I will choose A3, and link other checkbox controls also by choosing the left adjacent cell. The linked cell will return me true, when the corresponding linked checkbox is checked, else will return me failed. OK. Next, if the checkbox is clicked the payment amount should be appear on the card payment column. This can be done by defining a simple formula. Click the cell in D3, and enter the formula like, equal, if, the logical value will be, not, then cell A3, this will return me true. If the checkbox control is not checked, hence, the value if true argument to set 0, and the amount in C3 to be appear, if the logical argument is failed. This can be done in another way, like, equal, if, the logical argument will be, A3, equal, true, then the value if true argument will be C3, and 0 for if the argument is failed. We can use the same formula, but opposite in cash payment column. And copy down the formula. To keep the table format unchanged, click the auto fill option from the bottom right corner and select fill without formatting. In this formula, the company details to be reorganized from row to column as shown. If I entered the company details, the corresponding entries are to be returned in the defined column, like company name, telephone number, and item code. Let's see how we can develop the formula to get this done. As you can see here, the pattern of the row entries is unique from each company details. Company name are appeared between three rows and so on. Since it keeps unique pattern, we can use Excel offset function to get this done. You can check my previous tutorial on the Excel offset function for further understanding. If I choose the A1 as my reference cell in my offset formula, 
the company name row numbers are lied in row number 0, 4, 8, and so on. First let's create the row number pattern. For this we need to use Excel row function. So, equal, row, then the reference I choose A1, and press F4 until you freeze the column reference. Then copy down the formula, now it is return me 2, but I need 4. So, I need further adjustment on this formula. I will multiply the formula by 4 and deduct 4 at the same time. Now copy down the formula. As you can see it's return me the required row number pattern. I will use this formula in my offset function, so I will copy this formula. Click the first cell under company name column, and enter the formula like, equal, offset, then the reference cell will be A1, and press F4 key to freeze, then the rows argument will be my defined formula, I will paste it, and the column argument will be 0, leave the height and width arguments default since we need only single cell value and hit enter, it returned me the company name. What if the A1 is blank, it returned me 0, but I need blank cell, so I will use if function to return me blank, if there is no entries in company name. Now copy down the formula. OK. Next, for the telephone number column, I will use the same offset function, but we need to adjust the row number, and we need only the telephone number, not the text. Click on the telephone column, and paste the formula we have created before, but here, the telephone number mentioned in first and fifth rows from the reference cell, so I will add one. and hit enter. But as you can see it returned me with the text, to remove this, I will use excel substitute function. Hence, substitute, leave the text argument as our existing formula, the old text is phone, between the double quotes, then new text argument will be blank, and hit enter. To remove the unnecessary space, use Excel trim function. Now copy down the formula. For the fax number column, and the item code, I will just copy and paste the same formula from telephone number column, but need to adjust the row number, and old text from the Excel substitute function. In the fax number column, for the row number I will add 2, instead 1. And replace the fax, instead phone, in the substitute function. In item code, the row number will be same but the column number will be 1, since the item code column are set in one column from the reference cell. Let me enter a company detail. OK, we have developed the required formula. Here, I need the output value 0.25, if the input value is more than or equal to 0.25, 
and minus 0.25. If the input value is less than or equal to minus 0.25. For this we can use Excel median function. It will return me the middle number between the range. Hence, equal median, number 1 argument will be minus 0.25, number 2 will be the input value. Then number 3 will be 0.25 and hit enter. If I enter the input values within the ranges, it returns me the required output values. And, if I enter value out of the range it returned me the same input value. Ok we have done it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. You can download the example file from the link in the description. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please make sure to hit the like button, comment your thoughts on this tutorial, and subscribe with clicking the bell icon so that you will get the instant notification on my new uploads.